Stacy Bailey is going to come at this time and share her testimony. By the way, if your family, to any of those that are being baptized, if you want the front row seat, so to speak, come on up and get on the platform, if you would. We just want you to be able to see as best you can. Hey, Stacy. Hello. The reason why I'm being baptized today is I am fully committed to God and His grace. December of 2013, I suffered a tragic event in my life that no woman should ever have experienced. I was two months pregnant and suffered a miscarriage. I was angry with God in so many ways. I talked and emailed to uh, Pastor Mark, and the words of what he said to me made me think long, and I thought and realized that God has a special plan for me, and now I'm ready to let God lead me to what he wants me to do. So as I stand in the water, I'm allowing God and his love for me in my heart as well as my soul. Stacy Bailey, it's a privilege for me to baptize you this morning in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, dead unto sin, alive unto Christ. Praise God. Congratulations. Julio Miranda. Um, I was the youngest of uh, three children, um, meaning by youngest, uh, 14 and 10 years apart, so I wasn't necessarily planned. Um, though on my day of birth, uh, my dad had a choice to save my mother or me. Luckily, God made his own decision and saved us both. Um, my, um, <clears throat> my childhood was, I was very spoiled. My, my wife would probably tell you that. Um, and uh, I grew up Catholic. We went to Sunday school most of the time, um, but I never really felt connected. I learned a lot of rules, a lot of ways that I should, that I would, um, should do in order to deserve his uh, forgiveness but I never really learned how to have a relationship with him. Uh, 21, I moved out, uh, lived with my sister, and realized that I really wasn't ready. Um, and uh, he sent a message, so sort of a messenger to me saying that you're not ready, and I went back home and, and, and studied. Um, and I got my first um, career uh, when I was close to 25. Uh, first job, and I moved out with a, a girlfriend at the time. And but I was actually felt very empty, very um, depressed, in a lot of ways. Um, even so much that we, uh, through my girlfriend's inference, we even looked at other religions, trying to figure out what the void was. Uh, we separated, um, didn't work out, and I confided into with a friend of mine um, that. He was a born-again Christian, and I was telling him that I just feel this emptiness. So he slapped me upside the head and said, Christ is the way. So thank God for that. And um, told me that I should go to church, that I should go uh, and listen to preachers. And, but I was scared. I'm very introverted. I don't talk very much, surprising. Um, but... Um, then I met my beautiful wife, and she was a Sunday school teacher. Very convenient. And uh, I went to church, and um, it's, I, what I see now, he was setting up my life um, for the hard times ahead, uh, uh, giving me great in-laws, great wife, uh, great family to the tragedy that happened on um, April 18th, about 10 years ago. My wife went into the hospital and almost died. And that's where I gave, I, I, that's when all my learning and, and, and um, what do you call, and relationships kind of kicked in. And I gave up my life and, and he, he's fulfilled me. I've stumbled so many times since then though, but he's fulfilled me and he's been gracious to me and I will continue to that. and. Um, I know whether I'm there to learn, teach, 
or lean comfort to those in need, I will try my best to uh, meet what he needs. And um, I'm up here to recommit after 10 years, to recommit my life to Jesus. And I want everybody Amen. to experience. Amen. God bless you. Julio Miranda, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, I baptize you, dead unto sin, alive unto Christ. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, brother and sister in Christ, let me introduce beautiful and young lady, Angelina Smith here. Ooh, it's warm, isn't it? <laughs> Very warm. Do you like jacuzzi? Yeah, I like a lot. Asian, Asian, right? How are you, Angelina, today? I'm good. You're good? Why, you feel cold? It's hot here. I'm going to give you two questions for you. First, who is your savior? And Lord. Jesus. Jesus, he said. She said. And second, would you share the reason why you want to follow Jesus Christ in your life? So I can be born again Christian. Okay. Okay, you'd like to become you you'd, be, you'd like to become the Christian. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, I heard you you have your own prayer book so that you can pray every day. Do you share one of the prayer for us yeah. shortly? My God, I'm sorry for my sins with all my heart in choosing to do wrong and failing to do good. I have sinned against you for whom I should love of God, all things I firmly intend with your help to sin no more and to avoid whatever leads me to sin. Our Savior Jesus Christ suffered and died for me in his name, my, my God, God, have, have mercy. mercy. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Angelina, it's my honor to baptize you in the name of Christ, Father, and the Holy Spirit. You were sent alive in Christ. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> I want to invite the whole McFadden parade to come on up and get a good seat, okay? Get a good look here. You can come around this way if you want to. Yeah, come That's on fine. through. Just come on around. through. Okay? Lady Isaiah, you've come to these baptismal waters to tell something to this congregation. Do you love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength? Yes, I do. Yes, you do. That's a true story right there. And are you prepared to live the rest of your life for Jesus Christ? Yes, I do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You are ready. Well, then it is my privilege <laughs> to baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of his Holy Spirit, Isaiah McFadden, dead to sin, and alive in Christ. This girl right here. Proud of you, kiddo. That's pretty cool. Thing.
Paul and Belinda. Thank you. This is Paul Leesner. When I was in first grade, I accepted Jesus into my heart. My family had talked about baptism to my sister and I. My sister was all for it at that time. She even begged me to get baptized, but I just wasn't ready yet. So here I am today, ready to be baptized. John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Wow, that was pretty great. <laughs> Paul Leesner, it is my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, dead unto sin, alive in Christ. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you, Belinda. His sister, Belinda. When me and my brother Paul were in first grade, we accepted Jesus into our hearts. My favorite verse goes with why I want to be baptized. The verse is John 3:16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Belinda, it is my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Dead unto sin. Alive in Christ. Congratulations. <laughs> Jared and Jamie Schneider are new to our church, about seven, eight months. And um, they came to me, and their story's wonderful. You're going to see it as a video and it's going to be hysterical, so just go ahead and start laughing. Because they have their, all their families in the video, and crazy things are going on while, while mom and dad are speaking. Okay, But they want to dedicate their entire family to the Lord Jesus Christ today, and they're committing themselves and their whole family to be followers of Jesus. Come on to the water, we'll show the video. You are the Schneiders. I'm Jared Schneider. Mommy? Is Paula. Are you Tristan Schneider? Tristan Schneider. Nick Schneider, that is Hayden. Hayden Schneider? Hayden Schneider. I'm Talia Schneider. I'm Nathan Schneider. I'm Jamie Schneider. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, uh, we're, you know, we're excited to be here. Me and Jamie have been searching for a long time for something that's been missing in our life. We've been blessed with a beautiful family and really everything every day that we're thankful for but we were missing something in our life so I guess about seven months ago we came to the Nazarene and you know, we were welcome and we just felt at home something that you know in our search for um, for a long time we haven't you know didn't find it until now so we feel that that hole in our hearts um, has been filled and it, it feels right um, every Sunday that we go, uh, we just we, we leave with something that um, is meaningful. And this is, you know, a gift for our children that we wanted them to uh, find God and find Christ. And um, it's just a blessing. And we couldn't be any happier. So ready to take this next step in life and you know, be baptized because we, uh, we feel that we're, we're ready to do this. And uh, we, we want the family to see that. And, see where we're at at this point in our life. When you think of God and Jesus. Well, I think, think of um, God always helping us with my chores and he's helping me remember what I have to do in class. And I always know what to do in class for bad at school. And I know what to do in my class and I go to school. And in school I loved what my favorite part Playtime. <laughs> I can make my own stuff and and make God. Always. Um, I feel like it's accepting Jesus as my savior. What about you, Celia? 
<laughs> it's like you're giving yourself, like you believe in it and you want God to help you in every decision you make. So I want God to help me in every decision that I make, so I want to let him in. Does it mean you? <laughs> just makes you feel whole, makes you feel complete, makes you feel like everything is right. You don't feel alone anymore. You feel like you have some there by your side. It just feels like you have a friend that's always there. This really has been a fit, and we, we feel good about where we're at. And um, I'm just learning every week more about you know myself and our family and how. To improve our family and to make us stronger. I would say the way it's changed us is that we've. You know, we've, in these seven months, we've learned, you know, things by being a part of, you know, connecting with the church, just about what it means to be a, a follower of, of God and Jesus. Yeah. And it's been an amazing experience. Awakening, I'd say, too. Yeah. I like This has been great. I'm going to baptize you first, and then I'll baptize you, and then... Jared Snyder, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, I baptize you as head of your home, dead unto sin, alive unto Christ. <laughs> Jamie? Jamie Snyder? Yeah. There's no right or wrong way, I promise. Yeah. As the priestess of your home, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, dead unto sin, alive unto Christ. Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay. I asked Jared, as the father, if he would like to baptize his children. And he said he would. So I'm just going to turn it over to him. May not get all the verbiage correctly, but you know that dad and mom have decided they've set the course for their family. And all of their children are followers of the Lord Jesus Christ. And they're committing themselves today before God and this congregation to walk after Christ. Would you stand, please? Worship team is going to come up. Let's really sing with deep, deep hearts of celebration. <laughs> 